In two-dimensional geometry, a glide reflection is a type of opposite isometry of the Euclidean plane. The combination of a reflection in a line and a translation along that line. A single glide is represented as freeze group P11 grams. A glide reflection can be seen as a limiting rotor reflection, where the rotation becomes a translation. It can also be given a Schoenflies notation as S2 infinity, Coxeter notation as infinity plus, 2 plus, and Orbifold notation as infinity times. Description the combination of a reflection in a line and a translation in a perpendicular direction is a reflection in a parallel line. However, a glide reflection cannot be reduced like that. Thus the effect of a reflection combined with any translation is a glide reflection, with a special case just a reflection. These are the two kinds of indirect isometries in 2D. For example, there is an isometry consisting of the reflection on the x-axis, followed by translation of one unit parallel to it. In coordinates, it takes. It fixes a system of parallel lines. The isometry group generated by just a glide reflection is an infinite cyclic group. Combining two equal glide reflections gives a pure translation with a translation vector that is twice that of the glide reflection. So the even powers of the glide reflection form a translation group. In the case of glide reflection symmetry, the symmetry group of an object contains a glide reflection, and hence the group generated by it. If that is all it contains, this type is freeze group P11 grams. Example pattern with this symmetry group. Freeze group near 6 is generated by a glide reflection and a rotation about her point on a line of reflection. It is isomorphic to a semi-direct product of Z and C2. Example pattern with this symmetry group. A typical example of glide reflection in everyday life would be the track of footprints left in the sand by a person walking on a beach. For any symmetry group containing some glide reflection symmetry, the translation vector of any glide reflection is one half of an element of the translation group. If the translation vector of a glide reflection is itself an element of the translation group, then the corresponding glide reflection symmetry reduces to a combination of reflection symmetry and translational symmetry. Glide reflection symmetry with respect to two parallel lines with the same translation implies that there is also translational symmetry in the direction perpendicular to these lines, with a translation distance which is twice the distance between glide reflection lines. This corresponds to wallpaper group PG, with additional symmetry it occurs also in PMG, PGG and P4 grams. If there are also true reflection lines in the same direction then they are evenly spaced between the glide reflection lines. A glide reflection line parallel to a true reflection line already implies this situation. This corresponds to wallpaper group CM. The translational symmetry is given by oblique translation vectors from one point on a true reflection line to two points on the next, supporting a rhombus with the true reflection line as one of the diagonals. With additional symmetry it occurs also in CMM, P3 M1, P31 m, P4 m and P6 m. In 3D the glide reflection is called a glide plane. It is a reflection in a plane combined with a translation parallel to the plane. Wallpaper groups. In the Euclidean plane three of 17 wallpaper groups require glide reflection generators. P2GG has orthogonal glide reflections and two-fold rotations. CM has parallel mirrors and glides, and PG has parallel glides. Glide reflection in nature and games. Glide symmetry can be observed in nature among certain fossils of the Ediacara biota, the Macaroridians, and certain Paleoscolicide worms. Glide reflection is common in Conway's game of life. 